Hi, I'm Stuart Oliver, one of the Applications Engineers here at Teledyne Hastings Instruments, and today we're going to take a look at the DCVT Vacuum Gauging Controller. The Digital CVT is a flexible readout and controller that is capable of operating with our most popular thermocouple vacuum gauge tube families, the DV4, DV5, and DV6 series. Let's start by looking at the front panel. The readout can be set up to display in Tor, Millibar, or Pascal. There is an LED to indicate which range is active, so it's easy to quickly get the reading. Also, from the front panel, you can access the two relay set points. Let's show how that works. To read the set point, you just push one of the two buttons on the front of the display, and you will see the corresponding set point value on the display. Now, to change the set point, you simply turn the corresponding knob. Note that when you turn the knob, the set point will change even when the value is not shown. Now both relays have normally open and normally closed terminals available. In other words, you can configure contacts to close or open when you go below or above a certain pressure. Here we have set point 2 set to 117 millitor. When we pump the vacuum down, you'll hear that set point open. One last thing to review on the front panel, calibration adjustments. Now the DCVT comes from the factory ready to use. No further adjustments are required out of the box, but if you ever need to calibrate with the gauge tube or reference tube, it is easy to do from the front panel. Let's quickly run through calibration with the new gauge tube. We recommend that you pump the system down well below the lowest reading capability of the gauge tube family. For example, if you're calibrating with a DV6 series gauge tube, you would ideally pump into the 10 to the minus 5 tor region. After the system has stabilized, you would then take a small screwdriver and adjust the display until it reads zero. Next, you would vent the gauge tube to atmosphere. Notice the set points that we set earlier will turn off as it goes to atmosphere. Once it has stabilized that atmosphere, you would then press the ATM button once. Okay, now let's take a look at the back. First you will notice the standard power cord connection. The DCVT has a flexible universal power supply. It can be powered using 90 to 250 AC volts, but it can also be powered using 24 VDC and we will show how to do that in a second. Next, you also notice that all DCVTs have RS-232 digital communications. The connection is a standard RJ type, and it connects like this. The terminal block carries the connection to the thermocouple gauge tube. The DCVT is shipped with an 8-foot cable, but many other lengths are available. Our longest standard cable is 100 feet. Also, all of the relay contacts are available on this terminal block. The DCVT gives an analog output. There are many linear outputs available, including 0 to 5 volt, 0 to 10 volt, and 4 to 20 milliamps. The analog output can be obtained via pin 1 of the terminal block. Now, remember we said the DCVT could be powered using 24 volt DC? You can do this by supplying 24 volts via pins 3 and 2. One last note about the back panel. A jumper is available to determine if the DCVT is set up to read a DV4 or DV6 series gauge tube. In the case of the DV5, there are some internal changes and the jumper has no function. The model number is given on top of the DCVT so it's easy to tell how it was set up at the factory. Now the case itself is an 8th inch den size. We provide the mounting hardware so that mounting in a panel is easy. Teledyne thermocouple gauge tubes are famous for their ruggedness, reliability, and repeatability. You can see more on our gauge tubes at HastingsGauge.com. The DCVT provides accurate readings from our gauge tubes while giving the user flexibility to monitor and control vacuum applications. Thank you for watching the video. For more information, please visit our website www.teledyne-hi.com. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 1-800-950-2468. Thanks again.